How do we solve our patients' hard-to-solve medical problems? Our doctors and specialists collaborate, sharing their vast knowledge and Mayo Clinic's unique expertise. It's this working together that helps solve our patients' hard-to-solve medical problems. Monument Health, proud member of the Mayo Clinic Care Network. New Chevy trucks are inbound and arriving daily at Denny Menholt Rapid Chevrolet. Buy them before they get here. Stop in and see us or view our inventory at DennyManholtRapidChevrolet.com. See what's on the way and buy before it arrives. You get any incentives like big factory cash rebates or low APR financing. And we even have $1,000 Denny Menholt discounts on select new Silverado 1500s. Find new roads at Denny Menholt Rapid Chevrolet or DennyManholtRapidChevrolet.com.
Any Manholt Rushmore Honda, we're back from the all-city sale with a lot full of great trades. Cars, trucks, SUVs, imports, and domestics. And of course, the area's best selection of pre-owned Hondas and Honda certified pre-owned. Shop many fresh, local, one-owner trade-ins. Buy with no money down and get financing available as low as 1.99% APR. With our great prices, now is the best time to buy. We're back at the dealership. See us at Danny Manhole Rushmore Honda or RushmoreHonda.com. What if we said a bank isn't a place to lock up money? It's a place to set it free. What if the point of banking wasn't to bank at all, but to put your ideas to work? What if your bank asked, what if, a little more? Well, what if we told you we do? We're American Bank and Trust, where what if meets why not? If you are ready to change what you get out of banking, start a relationship with us. What if you made the move today? RushNet Wi-Fi from Venture Communications delivers the fastest, most reliable internet you can get. Upgrade to the secure fiber optic speed you need. Fiber internet with firewall whole home Wi-Fi lets you stream buffer-free HD video in one room, download an album in another, Snapchat in here, or dominate the latest game in here all at once. That's the fast, reliable power of Venture Fiber Optic Wi-Fi. Experience Venture RushNet Wi-Fi. Contact Venture Communications today. Agriculture is like no other business, which makes Farm Credit Services of America like no other lender. Owned by the farmers and ranchers we serve, our customers have a voice in how we work, a stake in what we do, and share in our success. Discover a lender that works for you at Farm Credit Services of America. The innocence of youth. Is there anything any better? But soon they'll be in high school and facing all the same challenges you faced. How to make friends. How to fit in. How to be cool. We want our children to have everything they'll need to live fulfilling and productive lives. Make sure the kids in your family are among the more than 57,000 participants here in South Dakota who take part in high school sports or activities. Black Hills State University provides the opportunity to explore careers with more than 125 programs of study. With quality programs and passionate faculty, you can find the path to a career of your dreams. While exploring academic options, find adventure that awaits for you in the beautiful wilderness surrounding Spearfish. Get involved in one of the many clubs on campus. Learn to lead and gain the knowledge that puts you above the rest. Apply now at bhsu.edu. Denny Menho Toyota is back from the all-city sale. We took in a lot full of great local trades, and now they gotta go. Choose from many fresh, local, one-owner trade-ins. Cars, trucks, SUVs, imports, and domestics. And of course, the area's best selection of used Toyotas and Toyota certified pre-owned. Buy with no money down, get financing on the spot. With our great prices, now is the best time to buy. We're back at the dealership. See us at Denny Menho Toyota or DennyMenholtoyota.com. How do we solve our patients? Good morning, everyone. Welcome up to Leahy Bowl for day two, game five of our 14U 2022 State VFW State Baseball Tournament. Nathan Umberger here on the mic, going to be here for all four games today. Quick tournament recap from day one. In the first game yesterday, Madison versus Dakota Valley. Madison was able to defeat Dakota Valley 4-3. Second game was Mobridge versus Belfouche. Mobridge won that game 8-7. Game three yesterday was Flandreau and West Central. West Central was able to get by Flandreau 6-5. And then the last game of the night, game four yesterday, was Lennox versus Winter, and Lennox won that game 5-4. Game schedule for today, we got Dakota Valley versus Belfouche here in the 11.30 time slot. At 1.30, going to have Flandreau versus Winner. At 3.30, up in the championship bracket, we have Madison versus Mobridge. And then at 5.30, West Central versus Lennox.
Dakota Valley here is the home team. Belfouche is the away team. Let's start with the defensive lineup for Dakota Valley first. We got Noah Graham up on the mound. Behind the plate is Will Shinnebel. At first base, Sterling Schoff. At second base, Jackson Shoulders. At third base, Vincent Hoffman. At shortstop will be Jake Pick. In left field is Luke Anima. In center field, Avery Favors. And in right field, Jack Trosper. Batting lineup for, Del for Bell Fouche. Batting first is going to be the center fielder, Gavin Pearson. Batting second is the shortstop, Casey Howard. At batting third uh, on the mound is going to be Trig Thompson. Batting fourth at first base is Ian Voiles. And batting fifth is going to be Uriah Hamilton, the catcher. Batting sixth is going to be the second baseman, Trevor Wellis. Batting seventh, the right fielder, Tegan Fredrickson. Batting eighth will be the left fielder, Rath Parmeter. And batting ninth will be the third baseman, Brody Memkin. As always, I do apologize if I announce names. I don't get the opportunity to call these names very much. So it looks like we are about ready to get going here. Sportsman Creed was over. Looks like we are ready to go, so let's play ball. Dakota Valley will be coming out on to the field here. Been a very good tournament of baseball so far. All four games in day one were decided by one run and usually decided in the top or the bottom of the seventh. No reason that should not continue today. Winner of this game will get to go play in the Constellation Championship tomorrow at 11.30. And the loser of this game will be headed home. There is going to be no 7th and 8th place game in this tournament. Only going to be a 5th and 6th, 3rd and 4th, and of course the 1st and 2nd place. Winner of this game will also face the winner of the next game, Flandreau versus Winner. First three batters here going to lead it off for Belfouche. Going to have Gavin Pearson, Casey Howard, and Trig Thompson. Pearson ready to go here in game five. First pitch is on the way to Pearson. Going to be watched outside, ball one. Second pitch is on the way. Will break low, ball one. Or excuse me, how about ball two? Low ball two. Will be ball three up high. Rio pitch on the way. Will break right across the plate. 3 1 count. Three one. Right down the middle gonna be sent up high. High fly ball right back to the pitcher. 
That will be out number one. Case and Howard, the shortstop, now up to the plate. First pitch to Howard, going to be watched a little high. Second pitch on the way. Swung on, lifted up, and just going to get over the shortstop's head. Howard will have a single. Single for Howard. We'll coming up after him going to be Trig Thompson. Pitcher here coming to the plate. First pitch to Thompson. Going to hit that outside corner called strike one. Second pitch on the way. Going to just bounce over that outside corner. Thompson here down on the count 0-2. O2, that one will be outside for a ball. One, two, swung on, going to be grounded. Will roll past the third baseman down third baseline, get out into left is a fair ball. And that will be a single for Thompson. We'll put runners on first and second here for Bell Foosh. Ian Voiles, first baseman at the plate. First pitch is on the way. Stays up high, ball one. Second pitch is on the way. Will be right down the middle. Called strike. One and one. One one is on the way. Swung on, taken foul down the left field line. One two count here for Voiles. One two is swung on, gonna be shot to the shortstop and going to be a line out and a six four double play, and that will end the inning here for Bell Fouche. Belfouche in the top of the first. Going to have no runs on two hits and no errors made by Dakota Valley. Will leave one man on. Going to take a break for about one minute back in the bottom of the first with Dakota Valley's first at bat. At Monument Health, are all those hardworking years in the field and around cattle starting to catch up with you? If you're like a lot of farmers and age is catching up with you, even climbing into the cab of that old tractor is getting harder. Well, Grossenberg Implement is here to help you out. All this week, they have an 8% discount on step kits this week. That could really help these aging bones. Stop into any of their eight locations and save on step kits now. Grossenberg Implement, 85 years of helping you around the home and farm. 
Eklund Tax Service, located at 323 Main Street in Gregory, South Dakota, is available for all your tax preparations. Mark Eklund has been a staple in the Gregory community for many years and wants to help you and your business have success by specializing in all types of bookkeeping. Eklund Tax can take care of any agricultural, retail, or personal bookkeeping or tax preparation. Call Mark at Eklund Tax today at 605-835-9665. Welcome back to Leahy Bowl. Getting ready to go here in the bottom of the first quick defensive lineup for Belfourge. Got Thompson up on the mound. Hamilton behind the plate. Voyles at first. Second base is Wellis. At third base, going to be Memkin. At shortstop is Howard. Out in left is Parmeter. Out in center, Pearson and Fredrickson in right. First three batters here for Dakota Valley going to be the shortstop, Jake Pick, coming up first, followed by the pitcher, Noah Graham, and then the E.H. Jack Weiss batting third. Should be our last warm-up pitch here. We're not going to have one more. Warm-up pitch is going to be completed. Throw down to second. Let's get underway here in the bottom of the first for Dakota Valley. Pitt going to look to get it going here early. Is the first batter. And first pitch of the game to Dakota Valley is on the way. First pitch going to stay low in the dirt. Ball one. Second pitch is on the way. Going to be low and outside. 2-0 the count. Two no. yeah. yep. yep. 2-0 is on the way. We'll hang outside. Ball outside. three. Rio going to break low, and Pick is going to take the leadoff walk. Noah Graham, the pitcher, now at the plate here for Dakota Valley. Going to have a pickoff attempt over at first. Will not be in time. Graham's first pitch. Going to be called a strike. Throw down to second. Will not be in time. That will be pick with the steal. Second pitch on the way will be cut on and missed. 0-2 oh now the count here for Graham. Third pitch on the way to Graham. Going to stay low. One, two, going to have a reset here to get pick back on second.
One, two on the way. Swung on, going to be hit over in left and going to drop one. foul. Count remains one and two. Graham still with a one two count as he walks back here to the box. Pitch on the way again. Swung at, was shot right down the middle in foul territory. Catcher is going to kind of slip in the grass there trying to adjust for it. Will fall foul. One, two, still the count. Pitch right down the middle. Going to be fouled off again. Graham doing a good job staying alive up there with the one, two. One, two again. That one's going to be grounded to the third baseman. Throw across the diamond. Going to get there on time. We'll have a 5-3 put out for out number one. Pick will advance over on the throw to first. We'll put him at third in prime scoring position. Jack Wise going to shoot one right up the middle. And going to get out into center field. That's going to be an RBI single right up the middle of the field. Vincent Hoffman now at the plate. Dakota Valley will score the first run of the game, taking the lead here in the bottom of the first. First pitch on the way, going to be outside. Throwback is going to be... Actually going to get out into right field. I thought the first base one was able to get a glove on that. Outside for ball one. Was thrown a bit to the first baseman's left side. So runner will advance. Weiss will advance on the throwing air. Shot right up for spaceman. Oh, right fielder going to have to come up from his spot. Will get down. Hoffman going to pretty sure. Probably going to be given a hit on that. Hoffman with the single. Advances Weiss to third. Bringing up the first baseman, number eight, Sterling Shea. Runners on the corners here for Dakota Valley in the bottom of the first. Pitch will be outside. Runner will advance with no throw down. That'll put Hoffman at second now. Runners at second and third. 1-0 the count here. This is Sterling Shaw at the plate. Called strike. One one gonna stay low. Low. 
Two and one. Two one is swung on and grounded. It's going to be a four three ground out. Throw back home is going to get there in time. Hoffman trying to get a little greedy and is going to get caught trying to take home. One run will come in for Dakota Valley there on the ground out, and then Hoffman going to get try going to get caught trying to advance. And that will put an end to this inning. Let's hear for Dakota Valley. We have pretty sure we're going to have two runs on two hits and one error made by Belfouche. With that, going to take a break for about one minute. We'll be back in the top of the second. We're back from the All-City Sale with a lot full of great local one-owner trades at Denny Menho Rushmore Honda. Cars, trucks, SUVs, imports, and domestics. And, of course, the area's best selection of pre-owned Hondas and Honda certified pre-owned. With qualified credits, buy with no money down, and get financing as low as 1.99% APR on select models. And with our great prices, now is the best time to buy. We're back at the dealership. See us at Denny Menho Rushmore Honda or RushmoreHonda.com. That moment when you realize your furnace is stone cold busted. We're talking a real put on every sweater you own, I can't feel my feet, penguin predicament. But fear not, there's an expert for that. Let your local heating experts at Kites Service Experts keep you warm with $50 off any furnace repair. Like it toasty? There's an expert for that. Call Pites Service Experts at 866-EXPERTS. See website for license details. What if we said a bank isn't a place to lock up money? It's a place to set it free. What if the point of banking wasn't to bank at all, but to put your ideas to work? What if your bank asked, what if, a little more? Well, what if we told you, we do? We're American Bank and Trust, where what if meets why not? If you are ready to change what you get out of banking, start a relationship with us. What if you made the move today? Welcome back to Leahy Bowl, getting underway here in the top of the second. Your Jaya uh, Hamilton at the plate. Up high, ball two, two and oh. Count for Hamilton sitting at two and oh. Can will go two one. Swing and a miss for strike two. Can will run two and two. Two two is going to be swung on, fouled off. Up high, ball three. High ball three. Count is full for Hamilton. Swung on, lifted about a mile up in the air. Foul territory. Oh, actually going to be in fair play. Pitcher is going to go on the third baseline, make the catch for out number one. Trevor Wells now up to the plate. First pitch is going to be by the knees, called strike one. Second pitch on the way, about the same spot, called strike two. Inside, ball one. Inside, ball one. Oh, 
One, two on the way. Swung at four, strike three. Wells will go down swinging for out number two. Going to have Tegan Fredrickson at the plate. Going to have a hit on the first pitch. Right back to the pitcher. Throw to first is going to be up high, but the first baseman able to wrangle it down and keep his foot on the bag. Will be a 1-3-4 out number three. With that, Tom of the set. Top of the second is going to come to an end. Belfouche going to go one, two, three. After one and a half complete, Dakota Valley is leading it two to nothing. Back in one minute with the bottom half of the second. This is what matters. This is beyond X's and O's. This is the difference mutual respect makes. This is what character looks like. This is what defines us in South Dakota. This is sportsmanship. School sports, it's not the outcome that matters most, but the way the games are played. This message presented by the South Dakota High School Activities Association and the South Dakota Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. Farmers know crop insurance is essential for managing risk. It's also valuable for maximizing revenue. The crop insurance officers at Farm Credit Services of America have proprietary tools and expertise to deliver the personalized crop and revenue protection you need for the peace of mind you want. Nobody delivers crop insurance like this. Discover the difference by calling 800-884-FARM. Agriculture works here. Black Hill State University provides the opportunity to explore careers with more than 125 programs of study. With quality programs and passionate faculty, you can find the path to a career of your dreams. While exploring academic options, find adventure that awaits for you in the beautiful wilderness surrounding Spearfish. Get involved in one of the many clubs on campus. Learn to lead and gain the knowledge that puts you above the rest. Apply now at bhsu.edu. We hope you are all. Welcome back to Lehi Bowl, bottom of the second, getting underway here in just a moment. First three batters coming up for Dakota Valley. Pretty sure going to be shoulders, favor, and Lead anima. In the bottom of the second, second baseman, number nine, Jackson, shoulders. Shoulders ready to lead it off for Dakota Valley here in the bottom of two. First pitch is on the way. Going to be outside for ball one. Outside ball one. Second pitch on the way. Going to hit that inside one. corner. One and one. one one account. One one swung on and going to have it popped up out into center. Single for shoulders. And we'll shoulders going to get a single in between three eight. defenders. We'll have Avery Favors now at the plate. Runner down on first. First pitch to Favors is going to be, I think that's going to be, going to have a dead ball or a hit by pitch there. Favors will go down to first. Anima going to watch his first pitch for a strike, have a pass ball. Runners will advance to second and third. Pass 
Runners here on second and third for Dakota Valley. Have no outs. Swing and foul ball. Foul ball, strike two. 0 oh and 2. 0 oh 2 the count here for Anima. Two going to be swung on, grounded, first baseman. Nobody's going to get there in time. Ball's actually going to bounce away from the pitcher there on the transfer over. And two runs going to come in and score. Pretty sure Anima there going to have a single. Bringing up the catcher, number 36, Will Schnabel. Don't know how that one's going to be scored for RBI. Two runs did come in. I'm going to say probably a two RBI single there. Have to see. Runner down on first, no out. Schnabel at the plate, Will Schnabel. First pitch, bunt going to be laid down and will be taken foul. We'll have a probably a wild pitch there. Ball one. One one. Anima will advance over to second. On Anima's at bat, he was given an RBI single. And the other run coming on the air. Schnabel here with a 1-1. One -one. Bunt going to be shown. Will be behind Schnabel. Wild pitch, Anima will advance. Wild pitch. Ball two, two and one. Two one the count here. Two one is swung on. And down to center field. will get down in front of the center fielder. Run will come in and score. Schnabel going to be given an RBI single. Bringing up the right fielder, number 17, Jax Trosper. Jax Trosper now at the plate. Score here now for Dakota Valley. It is 5-0 over Belfouche in the bottom of the second. Have a quick meeting out here between coach, catcher, and pitcher. Jack Trosper here at the plate. Pickoff attempt over at first will not be in time. I did that for Parker. He looked at him and he goes, 
Pitch on the way, going to be inside. Runner is off. Yeah. Throw down he is not going to get there in time. Schnabel will get the steal. Will be on second. One zero count here. Pitch on the way. Going to be outside. Wild pitch. Runner will advance. We'll put Schnabel at third. Oh, he's might have, trying to get a little greedy there. Was lucky to get back over on a third. Outside for ball two. Count is two and up. Trosper, 2-0 count, pitch on the way. Going to lay down a bunt, will go foul. Two one on the way. Will be uh, low outside. Ball three. Three and one. Three one count. Pitch on the way to Trosper. Will be swung on foul ball. Foul ball. Count will run full. Full count. Payoff pitch on the way. Will be low in the dirt. Not going to get far enough away from the catcher for Schnabel to advance home. But will put runners on the corners as Trosper draws the walk. Back to the top of the order. Jake Pick at the plate. Pick got walked in his first appearance. First pitch. Gonna have a quick quick moment here to reset. Actually gonna have Well, we're gonna have a meeting there between pitcher and catcher, but nope. First pitch going to be up at eye level for ball one. Second pitch on the way will be swung on. Taken to the third baseman. And throw back home is going to get away. Going to have, probably going to be scored there, a fielder choice and an error. Anima will come in and score. Or, excuse me, Schnabel will going to come in and score here. Put runners now on second and third. First pitch to Graham. Graham going to take one out into left field down the left field line. That's going to score two. And Graham will end up at second base. Graham going to have a two RBI double on that hit down the left field line. Number 84, Jack Weiss here at the plate. Weiss had an RBI single in his last appearance. Runner on second. Pitch on the way. Shot right back up the middle. Umpire gets out of the way. Shortstop unable to handle it. Runner will be coming home. 
And Weiss going to have another RBI single on the day. Score now after those two runs come in, and that run comes in. Score sits at 9-2-0 in the bottom of the second with no outs for Dakota Valley. Having a meeting on the mound here. Going to have to see what the decision is. Looks like going to have a pitching change here. Thompson was at... 38 pitches. Thompson leaving the game will pitch basically one and a half or one and a half innings. Going to give up seven hits, nine runs, nine of them earned, and have no strikeouts. Going to take a quick break here to get defensive changes figured out while the new pitcher warms up. All enjoying the student productions of your school. Tonight's event and every event produced by your school during the school year are created, filmed, and produced by the students you love to follow and support. Become a booster of your school's live event coverage by becoming a sponsor. It's a great way to show your support of the athletes and students in your community. As a sponsor, you'll get great visibility for your business, organization, or family by supporting the live productions of your school. As a Venture Communications customer, you're ready for tomorrow. Where you live, the world's at your fingertips through a fast and reliable fiber optic internet connection. You can choose the RushNet broadband speed you want, all the way up to a gigabit. And your own team of technical experts are ready to help 24-7. Change your world with RushNet high-speed internet. Be ready for tomorrow. Get connected. Call Venture Communications today. Welcome back to Leahy Bowl. Going to have Vincent Hoffman here at the plate. Casey Howard is now on the mound while Thompson went to shortstop. Hoffman going to take one foul out of play. Foul ball out of play. Bring that foul back, ball back to the concession stand for $1 courtesy of OCM Cattle Company. Runner on first here for Dakota Valley. Second pitch on the way to Hoffman. Hoffman going to take it foul. Foul ball. Strike two. 0 oh and 2. 0 oh 2 the count. Hoffman in his previous appearance had a single. Pickoff attempt going to get away from the first baseman. Runner was on the ground, couldn't do anything. Wise down there on first, 0 2 the count. Swing and got a drop, third strike. Throw down to first. Will. That'll be swinging for strike three. Hoffman will go down for out number one. Wise moves to second base. Schaff now at the plate. Schaff going to take one foul. Shoff in his previous appearance had a ground out. Second pitch on the way, going to hang inside. One and one. One and one. Two 
One one swung on. That's a good hit. Out in right field will get down. Will be a single. And we'll hold the runner over on third. We'll put runners on the corners here for Single. Dakota Valley. We'll bring up the second baseman, number nine, Jackson Shoulders. Jackson Shoulders now at the plate. Shoulders got a single in his last appearance. Going to have a courtesy runner coming in here for Schaaf. Trying to get a number. I think that is Cooper Bernard down there at first. Runners on the corners here. Shoulders at the plate. First pitch. Going to stay low. Pass ball. And run will come in and score. Weiss going to come in and score. We'll put the score now on the bottom of the second. 10 to nothing over Belfouche. Dakota Valley, 10 to nothing over Belfouche. Pitch on the way, swung on, popped up, foul ball. Going to get back into the net. One one on the way. Down low for ball two. Low ball two. Two and one. Two one is on the way. Outside ball three. Three one right down the middle, swing and a miss. Count will run full. Full count, payoff pitch on the way to shoulders. Down the middle, popped up and fouled to stay alive. Quick time call here. <laughs> Second payoff pitch to shoulders, swung on and fouled back again to stay alive. Shoulders having a good at bat. Payoff pitch number three. And we'll be upstairs for ball four. Up five for ball four. Going to have the ball get by the catcher. Runners will both advance. Shoulders going to get the walk. And then he will go take second on the pass ball. Runners now on second and third here for Dakota Valley. First pitch on the way. Swung on and I think it was fouled off. Yes, it was for strike one. Ball, ball, strike one. This is Avery Favors. Favors was hit by pitch last time he was up. Second pitch going to be off the mark. Outside, ball one, one and one. One, one. 
Down low, bounced in for ball two. Two one. Going to stay outside and low, ball outside, three. Ball Three one will be off the mark. Ball four. Favor is going to take a walk. Luke Anima at the plate. Anima here with one out and base is loaded. Off the mark, ball one. Second pitch on the way. Stays up high again, ball two. Anima, the last time he was up, had an RBI single. 2-0 currently in the count. Third on the way, going to be inside. Inside ball three. Three O pitch. Gonna stay up high. And that will be Anima drawing the uh, walk, and that will overfill the bases, walk and run. Bringing up the catcher, number 36, Will Schnabel. Will Schnabel now coming up. Schnabel had an RBI single last time he was up. Ball will be bounced in the grass in front of the plate. Wild pitch, one will come in. Runners on second and third now for Dakota Valley. 1 0 the count for Schnabel. Second pitch is on the way. Swung on and missed for strike one. One one swung on shot right back up the middle and that's going to get in between the second baseman and shortstop. One will come in. Schnabel going to probably he will be given the RBI single up the middle. Trosper now coming up. And that is going to have runners on the corners here for Dakota Valley. Uh, Dakota Valley now up here in the bottom of the second, 13 to zero. Swung on, fouled off. Foul back. For one. That is strike one. Runners on the corners with one out. A won the count here for Trosper. Trosper had a walk in his last appearance outside. Ball two. Throw down. Will not be in time. Outside. For ball one. One and one. Let's get an out or two here. All right. One one. Going to stay up high. Runner will advance to second. Two and one. Right. 
two one on the way. Swung at four, strike two. Two two the count. Two two. Swung on, lifted up. And catch will be made over there by the shortstop. Oh, actually, never mind. Going to be lost in the sun. Trosper going to have a hit there. So base is loaded now. Pitch going to be popped up. And catch will be made that time by the shortstop. Four out, number two. That was Pick popping out. Noah Graham up to the plate. Graham has a ground out and a two RBI double on the day. Fouled out of play. First pitch was fouled out. Bases are loaded here for Dakota Valley. Bottom of the second with two outs. Graham going to shoot one right to the third baseman. And third baseman going to tag the runner first to go to third. And that will bring an end to the bottom of the second. Looks like here Dakota Valley is going to have 11 runs and I think 9 hits and 2 errors made by Belfouche. Going to be somewhere around there. Scoring after 2 complete, Dakota Valley 13, Belfouche 0. Back in about 1 minute with the top of 3. Your local cooperative has a new name. CHS Northern Plains and CHS Midwest Cooperative have joined together to better serve you under the new name CHS River Plains. You gain more options and more value with access to global markets in a powerful supply chain. And you can do more every day using inputs delivered by a team who knows what you need, when you need it. Visit us online at chsriverplains.com or stop in today and let us help you own every day. New Chevy trucks are inbound and arriving daily at Denny Menholt Rapid Chevrolet. Buy them before they get here. Stop in and see us or view our inventory at DennyManholtRapidChevrolet.com. See what's on the way and buy before it arrives. You get any incentives like big factory cash rebates or low APR financing. And we even have $1,000 Denny Menholt discounts on select new Silverado 1500s. Find new roads at Denny Menholt Rapid Chevrolet or DennyManholtRapidChevrolet.com. Right now is a great time to be planning for the next growing season. Fall fertilizer application can give your crops a strong start in the spring. Because the nutrients available and needed in each field vary, your Agtegra agronomist can help determine your specific nutrient needs and the benefits of applying them now. To optimize your inputs for next year's crop, contact your Agtegra agronomist for details or visit agtegra.com today. We've got a history of serving you. A history of family-owned community banking that goes back over 100 years. We grew up here. We're local. And local ownership means local decisions. It means our products are tailored to meet local needs. We take pride in our support of many local organizations and encourage community growth through charitable contributions and employee involvement. First Fidelity Bank, member FDIC. First class banking on a first name basis. Feel more confident and in control of your financial life. Ameriprise Advisors can work with you to provide personalized, goal-based advice based on your short and long-term goals. Plus, you can track your investments and financial solutions with our digital tools and regular meetings. 
Call John Pokup at 1-800-713-9160 to see the multiple ways they can help you on your retirement journey. Legacy Financial Partners, a private wealth advisory practice of Ameriprise Financial Services, LLC, is located at 218 South Monroe Street in Winter, South Dakota. Member FINRA and SIPC. Denny Menhol Toyota is back from the all-city sale. We took in a lot full of great local trades, and now they gotta go. Choose from many fresh, local, one-owner trade-ins. Cars, trucks, SUVs, imports, and domestics. And of course, the area's best selection of used Toyotas and Toyota certified pre-owned. With qualified credit, buy with no money down, get financing on the spot. With our great prices, now is the best time to buy. We're back at the dealership. See us at Denny Menhol Toyota or DennyMenholToyota.com. Welcome back to Leahy Bowl. Getting underway here in the top of three par meter at the plate for Belfouche. First time at the plate today. First pitch going to be up high. Defensive changes for Dakota Valley. Got Avery Favors up on the mound. Graham went to shortstop and Pick is now out in center. Inside, ball two. Swung on, will be driven foul down the first baseline. Don't know what's going on here. Conversations between somebody. 2 1 count. Pitch is on the way from Favors. Right down the middle, going to be popped up out in center, and Pitt going to range over, make that catch for out number one. Memkin now at the plate. First pitch going to be in the dirt. Ball one. Mm -hmm. Down low for ball, ball two. Duo count. Pitch is on the way. Swung on and missed for strike one. Two one swung on, going to be driven out to right, and it's going to bounce out of the right fielder's glove. Memkin going to be given a hit on that one. Right fielder couldn't do too much about that. Tried his best to get over there. Memkin will pull up at second with a double. Memkin going to get a double. To the top of the order now. We got Pearson back up at the plate. Pearson popped out last time he was up. First pitch down low. Runner will advance on the low pitch. Ball one. So Memkin now over at third. 1-0 count. Only one out.
swung on. Will be a grounder. Shortstop's going to take it. Throw over is going to get wild. Gets out near the first base fence. And Pearson going to reach on the air and will advance over to second. Oh, actually, excuse me, going to reach with a single and then advance on the air. One run did come in and score there for Belfouche. So Pearson actually gets the RBI single. Ball is going to get away from the catcher. Runner will advance over to third. 2-0 the count. Two-zero count here for Howard. Two-zero down low, ball three. And the dirt for ball three. Three-zero. We're gonna hang over that inside corner. Called strike one. Three one up high gonna be hit. Shortstop's gonna field, throw to first. A good play by the Dakota Valley shortstop. Howard will ground out, but will allow a run to come in. Up now, shortstop number twelve, Trig Thompson. Trig Thompson now at the plate. Two outs here. Thompson going to line a grounder right back to the pitcher. Grounder Throw the over pitcher, to three. first. Will be completed. One, three, four. Out number three. Yep. Belfouche there in the top of three. Going to score. Looks like going to score two runs on, I think, two hits and one error made by Dakota Valley. With that, after two and a half complete, Dakota Valley still leads 13-2. to two. Back in about a minute with the bottom half of the third. Shop local with Burke and Gregory Building Centers, your hometown hardware stores, specializing in everything from finding the right drill bit to building your dream home. The crew at Burke and Gregory Building Centers take pride in customer service and are always available to help with any project, big or small. They offer top-of-the-line flooring and cabinetry, a large inventory of rental items, quality Pittsburgh paint, and so much more. Follow them on Facebook and shop online anytime at bgbuildingcenter.com. Limestone canyons, flowing waterfalls, and pristine beauty make Spearfish a sanctuary for those seeking the ultimate escape. Outdoor enthusiasts will find top-notch sport climbing, mountain biking, and UTV OHV trails. Guests are steps away from peaceful hiking trails and tranquil streams. Relax and rehash your day's adventure at one of our award-winning local breweries. Finding rest is an important part of any adventure. Lodging in Spearfish comes with a variety of choices, from cabins, B&Bs, and campgrounds to the comforts of your popular brand-name hotels. To find your unique adventure in Spearfish, go to visitspearfish.com. Calm now. This is what matters. This is beyond X's and O's. This is the difference mutual respect makes. This is what character looks like. This is what defines us in South Dakota. This is sportsmanship. School sports, it's not the outcome that matters most, but the way the games are played. This message presented by the South Dakota High School Activities Association and the South Dakota Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. Welcome back. 
to Leahy Bowl. Bottom of the third is underway. Reese leading off here. Jack Weiss here has two RBI singles. And going to take one down that left field line. Going to have to see foul territory. And third baseman going to catch it over there in foul territory for out number one. Vincent Hoffman now up to the plate. First pitch to Hoffman, going to stay up above his head, ball one. Swung on, going to be hit out into left center, a line going to get out there to deep left center. And that is going to be Hoffman with the double. Or it looks like actually Hoffman's going to reach on the air, not the double. Looks like we got Cooper Bernard at the plate now. Ball one, one zero. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. Strike one. One and one. One one on the way. Stays upstairs. Ball two. Up high. Ball two. Two one going to be outside ball three. Three one on the way, Bernard going to be behind Bernard. Wild pitch runner will advance, and Bernard's going to take the walk. Shoulders now coming up to the plate. Runners are on the corners for Dakota Valley. Pitch will stay up high. This is actually, looks like Grady Ramos. First at bat of the day for Ramos. Pitch down low, runner is off. Wild pitch, run will come in and score. Over to third base, throw is not going to get there in time. Gerard, or excuse me, Bernard, going to steal two bases there on the wild pitch. Swing and a miss for strike one. Swung on and fouled Ball. off. Two and two. Two two swung on, gonna be lifted up foul territory, and it's going to get down harmlessly. Are we gonna roll? Foul ball. Count remains two and two. 
we need to feel do. normal field prep, yeah. Right. But we're not gonna we're not gonna start too much early. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Maybe five minutes, but yeah, yeah five ten minutes is all. Yeah. yeah, we're not gonna. The time that you went to field prep, and then this two two count. Two two pitch swung on, popped up, and let's gonna see. Third baseman can't get to it in time. It will get down. Ramos, I think it'd be credited for a hit there. Just kind of popped it a mile in the air in no man's land. Avery favors now up to the plate. Runners are on the corner. First pitch on the way going to be hit. And shortstop going to make that catch. Favors will go down with the pop out. Pickoff attempt over at first, not in time. Runners will still sit on the corners here. Anima sitting with, yeah, he's coming up to the plate here. Anima has a RBI single and a walk in his appearances. A pie. Ramos will advance over to second. Runner is now on second and third. Second pitch going to be hit and going to get down just on the right field line. That is a nasty hit. Two runs going to come in and score and Anima going to have to get back to second base. So Anima going to have the two RBI single. I'll put the score here at 16 to two in Dakota Valley's favor. Pitch on the way gonna be low. Wild pitch runner will advance. Wild pitch will advance the runner to second. One and up. Schnabel. Will Schnabel at the plate. He has two RBI singles in his plate appearances. Second pitch on the way. Going to hit Schnabel. And he will go down to first on hit by pitch. Bennett Lucan now at the plate, his first plate appearance of the day. First pitch to Lucan, going to be a wild pitch. Runners will advance to second and third. Score currently here in the bottom of three with Two outs, Dakota Valley 16, Belfouche 2. 1 0 the count here for Lucan. Second pitch is on the way. Going to be cut on and missed 1 1. One one swung at up at eye level. One two pitch to Lucan will be cut on and missed. Belfouche going to live to see another inning, able to 
just avoid the 15 run mercy roll here in the bottom of three with that strikeout. Belfouche, got to give him credit here for fighting till the end. Just keep it going no matter how much you're down. Belfouche has been able to get some runs in. We'll have a lot of work ahead of them, but could keep this game rolling very easily. After three complete, Dakota Valley leads 16-2. Be back in about one minute with the top of four. At Monument Health Orthopedics and Sports Medicine, we are here to help you make your comeback. Our team is standing by to diagnose and treat your injury with some of the most advanced treatment options available and same-day appointments. Monument Health practitioners work closely with our therapists and physicians in communities throughout the Black Hills with locations in Rapid City and Spearfish. Visit monument.health slash orthopedics for more information. That's monument.health slash orthopedics for more information. Are all those hard-working years in the field and around cattle starting to catch up with you? If you're like a lot of farmers and age is catching up with you, even climbing into the cab of that old tractor is getting harder. Well, Grossenberg Implement is here to help you out. All this week, they have an 8% discount on step kits this week. That could really help these aging bones. Stop into any of their eight locations and save on step kits now. Grossenberg Implement, 85 years of helping you around the home and farm. Eklund Tax Service, located at 323 Main Street in Gregory, South Dakota, is available for all your tax preparations. Mark Eklund has been a staple in the Gregory community for many years and wants to help you and your business have success by specializing in all types of bookkeeping. Eklund Tax can take care of any agricultural, retail, or personal bookkeeping or tax preparation. Call Mark at Eklund Tax today at 605-835-9665. We're back from the All-City Sale with a lot full of great local one-owner trades at Denny Menho Rushmore Honda. Cars, trucks, SUVs, imports, and domestics. And, of course, the area's best selection of pre-owned Hondas and Honda certified pre-owned. With qualified credits, buy with no money down, and get financing as low as 1.99% APR on select models. And with our great prices, now is the best time to buy. We're back at the dealership. See us at Denny Menho Rushmore Honda or RushmoreHonda.com. That moment when you realize your furnace is stone cold busted. We're talking a real put on every sweater you own, I can't feel my feet, penguin predicament. But fear not, there's an expert for that. Let your local heating experts at Pites Service Experts keep you warm with $50 off any furnace repair. Like it toasty? There's an expert for that. Call Pites Service Experts at 866-EXPERTS. See website for license details. Welcome back to Leahy Bowl. Getting underway here in the top of the fourth. Belfouche is up. This is Ian Voiles at the plate. First pitch to him on the way. Going to stay up high. Ball one. Voiles in his last appearance. Got a line out. So he's 0 for 1 at the plate. Ball two. Up high, ball three. Three zero count here for Voyles. Pitch on the way. Going to stay outside. Voyles going to take the lead off walk. Hamilton now with the plate. Pickoff attempt over Trish will not be in time. Hamilton popped out in his last appearance. Going to have a kind of a half swing for strike one. Hamilton kind of thought when he was finishing that swing. He's like, oh, 
Didn't mean to do that. Pitch down low for ball one, make it a one and one. One one is on the way. Going to be down the middle for strike two. One two is on the way. Swung on and Hamilton will go down swinging for out number one. Got, looks like a pinch hitter here. Got Graham Vanderboom. First pitch to Vanderboom going to be on the inside. One zero. Going to be right at the knees Ball for strike, strike one. One. One, and one. one one on the way. It's dug up, going to be sent up the middle. Second baseman's going to take it. Flip to second, throw over to first, not going to be in time. Going to be a four, six fielder's choice. That will be out number two. Now up right fielder, number 15, Deegan Fredrickson. Fredrickson now up to the plate. First pitch going to be a ball. Fredrickson here, 1-0 -oh the count. Have two outs here for Belfouche. Outside for ball two. Outside ball two, 2-0. Two oh. Oh, yeah. 2-0 -oh, going to be inside and low. Fredrickson here had a ground out in his last appearance. 3-0 in this count will be swung on and going to ground out unassisted to the first baseman. Four out, number three. Belfouche going to leave one man on, but it will bring a close to the inning. Going to take a break for about one minute. Be back with Dakota Valley at bat in the bottom of the fourth. What if we said a bank isn't a place to lock up money, it's a place to set it free? What if the point of banking wasn't to bank at all, but to put your ideas to work? What if your bank asked, what if, a little more? Well, what if we told you, we do? We're American Bank and Trust, where what if meets why not? If you are ready to change what you get out of banking, start a relationship with us. What if you made the move today? This is what matters. This is beyond X's and O's. This is the difference mutual respect makes. This is what character looks like. This is what defines us in South Dakota. This is sportsmanship. School sports, it's not the outcome that matters most, but the way the games are played. This message presented by the South Dakota High School Activities Association and the South Dakota Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. Farmers know crop insurance is essential for managing risk. It's also valuable for maximizing revenue. The crop insurance officers at Farm Credit Services of America have proprietary tools and expertise to deliver the personalized crop and revenue protection you need for the peace of mind you want. Nobody delivers crop insurance like this. Discover the difference by calling 800-884-FARM. Agriculture works here. Black Hills State University provides the opportunity to explore careers with more than 125 programs of study. 
With quality programs and passionate faculty, you can find the path to a career of your dreams. While exploring academic options, find adventure that awaits for you in the beautiful wilderness surrounding Spearfish. Get involved in one of the many clubs on campus. Learn to lead and gain the knowledge that puts you above the rest. Apply now at bhsu.edu. Welcome back to Leahy Bowl. Ready to go here in the bottom of the fourth. The batter's actually already up. It is Jake Pick. Second pitch on the way. Going to be swung on, fouled off. Can't will go 0 2 for Pick. Pick has a walk and a pop out in his last appearances. I think he had another at bat in there too. I just can't remember what it was. 0 2 on the way up high. He's going to swing and miss for strike three out number one. Up now, shortstop number 31, Noah Graham. Noah Graham, number 31 at the plate. First pitch on the way to Graham, swung on, and fouled off. Second pitch on the way, going to be spiked down, one and one. One one is swung on, fouled off for strike two. One two on the way. Swung at up high, fouled off. One two pitch up high will even it out at two and two. Fly ball two, even the count two and two. Jesse, you think you did an announcing on radio or something? Yeah, I do. Two two swung on, fouled off down third baseline. Two two on the way. Yeah. Going to be sailed for ball three. I got nothing to do. High ball three. Three and two. Full count and fouled off. Graham having a long at bat here. Three two swung on in another foul ball. Another foul ball. Again, bring that foul ball back to the concession stand for one dollar from OCM Cattle Company. Graham here is going to get a pitch he likes one time or another. <laughs> there it is, going to be swung on and going to be a single out into left. Jack Weiss now at the plate. Weiss has uh, two RBI singles and a fly out. Uh, 
Up high, throw back to first will not be in time. Up high, ball two. Runner is off here. Throw to second. And Graham is going to get away with the steal there. We'll put Graham in scoring position. Nice. Belfouche got to be careful here. Want that one run sitting on second. If it comes in, we'll end the game. Pop up over in right territory. We'll twist foul. Foul ball. Two on the count on Weiss. Or Weiss, excuse me. Two on to Weiss. Gonna stay up high. Ball three. Three one going to hit that outside corner. We'll run it full. Full count payoff pitch will be outside. We will draw the base on ball. Vincent Hoffman at the plate now. Hoffman has a single, a strikeout, and reach on air. Up high, ball one. Runners on first and second here. Only one out so far. Swung on, going to be grounded to the third baseman. And double play is going to be on time. That's going to be a five unassisted, then a five three double play. Belfouge going to live to see the top of the fifth, but they are going to have to score runs in the top of the fifth. They're four complete Dakota Valley lead 16 to two over Belfouge. Going to have to be back in about one minute with the top of five. We hope you are all enjoying the student productions of your school. Tonight's event and every event produced by your school during the school year are created, filmed, and produced by the students you love to follow and support. Become a booster of your school's live event coverage by becoming a sponsor. It's a great way to show your support of the athletes and students in your community. As a sponsor, you'll get great visibility for your business, organization, or family by supporting the live productions of your school. As a Venture Communications customer, you're ready for tomorrow. Where you live, the world's at your fingertips through a fast and reliable fiber optic internet connection. You can choose the RushNet broadband speed you want, all the way up to a gigabit. And your own team of technical experts are ready to help 24-7. Change your world with RushNet high-speed internet. Be ready for tomorrow. Get connected. Call Venture Communications today. Your local cooperative has a new name. CHS Northern Plains and CHS Midwest Cooperative have joined together to better serve you under the new name CHS River Plains. You gain more options and more value with access to global markets and a powerful supply chain. And you can do more every day using inputs delivered by a team who knows what you need, when you need it. Visit us online at chsriverplains.com or stop in today and let us help you own every day. New Chevy trucks are inbound and arriving daily at Denny Menholt Rapid Chevrolet. Buy them before they get here. Stop in and see us or view our inventory at DennyManholtRapidChevrolet.com. 
see what's on the way, and buy before it arrives. You get any incentives, like big factory cash rebates or low APR financing. And we even have $1,000 Denny Menhol discounts on select new Silverado 1500s. Find new roads at Denny Menhol Rapid Chevrolet or Denny Menhol Rapid Chevrolet.com. Welcome back to Leahy Bowl. Going into the top of the fifth here between Dakota Valley and Bell Fouche. Going to be, looks like, Rafe Parmeter here now at the plate. Going to lead it off for Bell Fouche. Bell, Bell Fouche here going to be fighting against the Mercy Roll. Going to have to score five runs if they want to keep this game going. Par meter coming up. He has. Looks like in his last at bat, he lined out. First pitch going to be called a strike. Outside will make it one and one. One one swung on and missed. Defensive changes here for Dakota Valley. Pick is on the mound and Favors is out in center. One two gonna be inside, even it up at two apiece. Two two uh, going to be swung on, taken out to left oh left center, and left fielder going to come make the catch for out number one. We'll bring up the third baseman, number twenty four, Brady Memkin. Brady Memkin now at the plate. Memkin with a double. In his first at bat, swing and a miss for strike one. Swinging, strike one. Going to be just up a little up. One one on the way. Going to be swung at for strike two. One and two. One, two, going to be dropped over that inside corner for strike three and out in number two. Center fielder, number 22, Gavin Pearson. To the top of the order, number 22, Gavin Pearson at the plate. Has a pop out and an RBI single on the day. Swing and going to get. And looks like that's going to be a 4-3 for out number three. Belfouche in the top of five. Going to go one, two, and three. Dakota Valley will win this game after four and a half complete via Mercy Rule. Final score is Dakota Valley 16, Belfouche 2. Want to give credit to Belfouche not giving up there after getting down early. They faced a 15 run Mercy Rule since the third inning and just played enough defense and played hard enough to see a couple more innings until they finally got taken out by the 10 run mercy rule in the top of yeah. the fifth. Yes. Yes. Line score for this game, Dakota Valley has 16 runs on 13 hits and no errors made. And Belfouche has two runs on four hits and committed four errors. With that, 
Dakota Valley is going to advance to tomorrow. They will play in the Constellation Championship at 11.30 in the morning. And they will play the winner of the Flandre and Winter game coming up here in about 30 minutes. Belfouche, congratulations on your great season and making it to the 2022-14 U VFW State Baseball Tournament. But they will be heading home at tonight. Hopefully they have a safe trip back to Belfouche. Going to cut this stream. We're going to move on to the Flandreau and Winter game. Going to be back live here in about 10 to 15 minutes on LiveTicket.tv.